soil water and air are all interconnected um it's everyone has the right to utilize the soil to harvest what he needs by growing the crops he desire at the same time everyone has the responsibility to protect it to sustain its productivity and fertility and health now everyone talks about this global warming and many, even globally many actions have been started to combat uh, co2 enrichment in atmosphere and reduce global warming co2 as we have already seen is one of the major component leading to global warming what soil by proper soil management a major contribution uh, to mitigate global warming can happen if we understand if everyone understands the link see the, the already there is 10 times more co2 stored stored in the soil compared to the atmosphere in the, by storing more carbon in the soil we restrict the speed with which it is released into the atmosphere thereby the levels of carbon can be reduced the atmospheric carbon can be harvested through photosynthesis and stored as a plant biomass and also as soil carbon in huge quantities in tagat tons so thereby the level of co2 in the atmosphere when it is reduced the its contribution to global warming as greenhouse gas gas will also come down for a greenhouse gas is one which absorbs the radiant energy and emits it in thermal infrared regime to heat the atmosphere it absorbs the energy and holds it and releases it a greenhouse is one which is transmittive to short wave radiations and blocks the escape as long wave radiation for example in a glass house the solar radiation will come said through for short wave long wave radiation it reaches inside the glass house there if you grow plants it will do photosynthesis but after heating the soil surface it is emitted back in long wave radiation that long, for that long wave radiation that glass house or that greenhouse is not pervious is impervious so it is recycled within the glass house so the thermal energy the heat energy increases and the temperature goes up a similar thing is happening uh, all over the world that's what we refer as this global warming when the concentration of this greenhouse gases uh, mainly carbon dioxide then methane the nitrous oxides increase they absorb heat radiation from the sun and they start emitting in huge quantities thereby they increase the temperature so to check this they should be stored in soil in soil organic matter for which i can quote an example in modern agriculture we don't care for this mulching or crop residue rotation the crop residues are burnt and lost or they are not properly managed if the the crop residues in the crop residues carbon is stored as organic matter if that storage is prolonged then the uh, rate of release of co2 from soil to atmosphere is reduced thereby its contribution to global warming or greenhouse effect is also reduced by covering the soil with mulch we reduce the soil temperature with adequate soil temperature and with adequate soil moisture only the rate of decomposition will be higher by the microbial activity by covering the soil with crop residues and mulches we reduce the soil temperature thereby we reduce the rate of decomposition we reduce the soil temperature and we reduce the rate of decomposition so at a given period of time the co2 released through decomposition is reduced 
So, this is one major way by, by mulching in tropical climate or in uh, Asian and regions which are exposed to solar radiation during major part of the day. If we cover the soil with crop residues as through mulching, it reduces the soil temperature, thereby it reduces rate of decomposition, thereby it reduces the rate of CO2 release to the atmosphere. Ultimately, we support carbon dioxide enrichment in the, decreasing the CO2 enrichment in the atmosphere. So, to create awareness, a personality like Sadhguru, traveling uh, all over the world will make a huge impact. Just like uh, me, many scientists will join hands with us, many farmers will get enlightened. It is a huge opportunity, it is a huge step towards addressing these environmental issues. So, I feel blessed to be a part of, uh, a little part of this and I wholeheartedly support this. I see it as a huge opportunity for connecting policy makers, scientists and farmers to act together to address this global issue. Yes.